Hey there, I can't believe it's February already. To be truthful, I had been delaying the upload of this video because my allergies kicked in like never before and I felt that I didn't have the proper voice to do the voiceover. But the winter here has been longer than usual and I don't think that my voice is gonna get better anytime soon, so bear with me. In the end, I'm not gonna talk a lot, I just wanted to give a little introduction on the word for this month. If you don't know, I am randomly choosing a word that I want to implement each month throughout the year. And so this time, it was a turn for slow living, which, as you can see, it is a lifestyle. Lately, I have been feeling the effects of overstressing, both physically and mentally and so I do believe that I need to be a lot more conscious about the way I spend my time and mainly with how I do things. The meaning that I found speaks about everyday tasks and it's actually kind of connected with my December theme which was about romanticizing your life and Slow living also has to do with taking your time, doing things in a way that make you happy and mainly trying to be calm about everything because sometimes as humans we tend to overthink and paint scenarios in our mind that sometimes can be catastrophic and that just adds stress. And I don't know about you, but many times all the things that I worry about, they are imaginary. Like in the end, things turn out really well. And so I realized that all that stress and all that worry was pretty much for nothing. So slow living has to be something that I will implement every day of my life, consciously, intentionally. And speaking about the theme, well, I feel that a coffee theme is perfect for this slow living vibe. I was inspired by the set that just was launched by Notebook Therapy and it's from their Hinoki line which is a more intentional and more mindful line. It's simply gorgeous but they launched stickers, washi tapes and stamps which just by looking at them you feel inspired and relaxed and I think we all agree or most of us agree that coffee is one of the things that we indulge in it's a pleasure to me it's one of my comfort drinks I don't drink it to have energy I don't need it I just drink it when I feel like it and I really really enjoy it this time around I even used it to paint. I was inspired by this beautiful French coffee shop which actually exists. When I finished this painting I uploaded it to Instagram and tagged the coffee shop in France and they reposted my my painting so I was really really happy about it. It's called Malabar Cafe and I just look for vintage looking coffee shops and this came up on Pinterest so I really really liked its vibe and I think that the idea of painting with coffee was just ideal not only because it looks really nice but also because the smell it really filled my whole studio my pages and my brush my palette it was just a beautiful experience that I I would really recommend you to do it, even if it's just a little sketch, try painting with coffee. I think it's really a sensory experience and it's really, truly rewarding. As you can see, painting with coffee is pretty much like painting with watercolors. You have to dilute it to make it a clearer shade and you can also add more coffee. In this case I used instant coffee because I felt that the one straight from the coffee machine was not as intense 
as the instant one so in the end it's still coffee and it works but as you can see you can also layer it so that you can have more shade more texture another detail that i wanted to mention was that i really enjoyed using that white ink to paint you saw me use it on the shop's tent and then for the door i diluted it with some um, watercolor and as you can see as a result you get this solid blocks of color that pop out of the page especially because you know with craft paper the effect is just amazing so this is an ink by dr ph martin it's water-based so i can always reactivate it it lasts quite a long time and the effect is simply gorgeous i really enjoyed using it for the blackboards here i am just using a watercolor that i didn't water down that much and overall using watercolor along with the coffee seemed to be the best technique i also thought of using wash but in the end the white ink that i told you about made the job pretty well like wash was not needed i i wanted to make the watercolor more opaque and the ink just worked like a charm so i'm just finishing off the inside of the coffee here i feel that the overall vibe that i wanted to achieve with the coffee and the furniture the plants it just makes you want to be there to have a moment of slow living because i think most of us enjoy just going to a coffee shop and order our favorite coffee style and sit and enjoy it with friends or while we work, while we read. There is something about coffee shops that makes us feel like we are inside of a movie and so I think that it was really fitting to add to the slow living theme and overall I feel quite satisfied with how this painting came about which actually took most of the time of my setup but i truly enjoyed it i indulged a lot in it as you saw i just used a fine leaf with the white ink and it looks beautiful so i'm finishing off the details that fine leaf if you haven't heard it was a gift from my grandfather to my mother years ago and although i didn't meet him um, whenever I use it, I feel that I'm holding a little piece of his personality in my hands and I feel closer to him. So anyway, I'm just finishing the details here, again using that white ink and adding some lines so that this can look like an architectural sketch. And now that you can see from the top, you can see how amazing it looks. In the end, that craft paper is driving me crazy with love. Like, I just indulge in the vintage vibe that it has. And after adding some coffee bean sticker, I am moving on to the next spread, which will also feature some coffee painting. I wanted to feature all of the ways in which we have coffee you know there's latte macchiato espresso cappuccino the list is endless and it would be nice if you would let me know in the comments below which is your favorite way to have your coffee or if you don't like coffee what do you usually enjoy but anyway i can definitely feel that i'm about to lose my voice again so i'm just gonna leave it at that and leave you to the background music so that you can finish watching the rest of these slow living slash coffee setup
And here is the final flip through of this slow living theme for February that was hugely inspired by coffee. The pages are even infused with it. So give painting with coffee a try if you would love to have a sensory experience while journaling. Thank you so much for putting up with my voice. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the theme. And as usual, thank you so much for watching.